VR players are truly one of a kind. If you've been on VR YouTube over the last few years, you might have seen the types of players in VR or more specific game types of players kind of videos. While those videos are good, they're also old as and VR changes in trends like every three months. So what's changed with VR players? Well, with the overwhelming amount of Quest 2 players emerging over the last few years and the steady decline of PC VR users, VR is not the same as when these videos were first released. We've gotten new games, new experiences, and most importantly, new playgrounds for children to scream at. So enough talking. What are the current players of VR? Have you ever looked in the mirror and realized, dude, I'm getting f***ing old. I'm grouping VR chat and Beat Saber players together for two reasons. They're both insanely popular and have been covered in these types of videos extensively, but also appeal to the mass general audience of VR in some way. Either you really like Beat Saber or you don't like Beat Saber at all. Either you don't like VR chat or you love VR chat. These games go hand in hand in showing the basics of VR while also having enough complexities to be entertaining in the long term. It shows not only that VR has an entire social aspect, but also that VR rhythm games are super addictive and also easy to copy and mass produce. These were also some of the first massive VR games. If you heard about VR during the HTC Vive and CV1 days, you most likely heard about Beat Saber and VR Chat in some way. These games have easily held the test of time as being the go-to games of VR, especially with VR Chat being free, you get an amazing social experience the second you put your headset on. To this day, Beat Saber is still my most played VR game, and that's without my Quest 2 hours before I started playing PC VR. While it is a little sketchy that a $30 game has multiple packs that cost extra if you want to play them, you could totally get your money's worth just playing the OST packs after purchasing. Both games have obviously had their dedicated groups to find new worlds for VR chat or the modders of Beat Saber, adding enough custom songs to fill your entire hard drive, but nevertheless, you can't go wrong with these two. Being that these games have their dedicated groups, you'll always have diehard fans that have been playing for years, but don't let that throw you off. There are plenty of helpful people in these groups that will help you when needed. On a scale of I would talk to them again to I wouldn't even launch the game, I would definitely recommend interacting with either community. But where's my Mountain Dew? This section will cover a wide range of games, mostly looking at the Pavlov and Contractors crowd. Being that Pavlov also got popular around the same time as Beat Saber and VR Chat, it's clear to see why so many people still refuse to play most other VR shooters. They're the same people who continually play Call of Duty and refuse to try anything outside of that. Also, it's the only VR shooter that's popular on the PSVR 2, and being a PC VR player that has crossplay, it's full of PlayStation users. So I'm seeing the clear line between Pavlov and Call of Duty players. Now, outside of Pavlov, these players are most likely to jump to Contractors since it's more or less a slight slightly different version of Pavlov with mod support between Quest and PC VR. Personally, I'm more of a contractors over Pavlov kind of guy, but being that they're both solid experiences, they'll both be worth your money. Now, there are other titles like Breachers and... <laughs> But being that Pavlov and Contractors have been around far longer and have had generally more players, they're easily the kings of VR FPS games. They've also held the test of time that only certain VR games have been able to achieve. Now, to give a few digs at Pavlov, obviously this update schedule is straight up bad. The only real players left to keep this game afloat are Quest 2 players and PSVR 2 players. PC VR just does its own thing. It's mostly VR chat, but they're not, re they're not really the shooter crowd anymore. If you run into these people, they might call you some negative things. We're just going to leave it at that. But if you're into doing some trolling in Pavlov or just like being annoying and VR games, you'll probably find these games enjoyable. But wait, do you guys do you guys hear that? I think I think I'm hearing something. Now, when I say extraction shooters, I'm using this more as a broad term. Something like Into the Radius isn't really extraction-based as something like Ghost of Tabor is, but it's still in the same league of VR survival games. This is also a subgenre of the FPS shooter crowd, mostly because both tend to have a liking towards weapons, but with Tabor and Into the Radius, it's far more in-depth and you actually need to supply yourself with the right weapons and attachments instead of just selecting what you'd like through a menu. Obviously, if you've been around this channel for a while, you'll know that I had a huge obsession with Into the Radius, and I still hop in from time to time, but I can't really speak on Ghost of Tabor since I've only played it for a little bit. These types of players especially Ghost of Tabor players, almost exclusively play these types of games. I can't say I blame them. I really did like the grind of Into the Radius, but you'll only really run into these players while playing Ghost of Tabor or live streaming Into the Radius. But you want to know what else is also a grind? V Viewies Hot Gamer Merch. That's the new name. That's what we're calling it. We have this totally sick I Only Obsess About VR and VR Only t-shirt and this uber sick Viewy. Will you please talk about Gorilla Tag again hoodie? Buy now at the link below. Use code BOZO for 20% off. Now think of this as the I'm a kid and I find a new game to play every week category. First it was VR chat, then rec room, and most recently gorilla tag, and now Roblox. If you don't like grouping up with someone who's actively getting yelled at for not doing their homework, you'll most likely never want to install these games onto your headset. If you like simple, easy to understand gameplay, then you might actually enjoy these games if you're not prepubescent. Not to say that these games don't have their complexities with gorilla tag, rec room, or Roblox, but I've played maybe 30 minutes of gorilla tag collectively. I have no idea how to do some of these freaky f wall climbs. But regardless of 
love what you're playing. I might dog on some of your favorite games in this video, but don't let me stop you from having fun in whatever game you want. What I like is not going to be what you like and vice versa. We're all in this together, my boy. But if, if yo, if you play VR hot, I'm sorry. I'm judging you for sure. If you're sitting there with boobies in front of your face, dude, I'm judging the fuck. Thank you to our mega rich patrons, Mike D10, Wes, Gain, Lunaris, Denasi, and only Mints. And of course, thank you to our budget friendly patrons. Welcome back to it's three o'clock in the morning and then my video is not at eight minutes. Yay! I'm gonna read some of my comments. Bone Labs is just a shitty version of Boneworks in every way. Uh, it's not that bad, but it's it's worse. It's because no one even makes VR games. That's that's not how that works. Play Breachers VR. It's ballin'. Uh, sure have, pal. Sounds like a skill issue to me. I agree. I agree. I'm gonna chew on a toothpick, brother. Hell yeah. I play VR just fine on my used RX 5600 XT, which costs $130 a little. Cool. Bro, VR has been here for like two years or something. There's no VR. Dog. First of all, VR technically has been around since the 70s. Uh, and also VR... I, I, I think of VR as like the HTC Vive CV1 days. That was like 2016, my guy. That was seven years ago. I'm getting old, dog. RE4 on Quest 2 is so underrated. No one ever talks about it. That's just because RE4 is a good game. I think we, I think we as in a, a community need to just realize that yes, RE4 is, is good. Yep. Dude, if I get one more comment telling me to play Vertigo 2, I'm going to Vertigo myself of a f I did hear that the Quest 3 will run like a PS5 and Xbox Series X. So bone, no. Don't don't think it don't think the quest 3 is gonna run like a ps5. It's not It's really not Like it'll be better than the quest 2, but it's not gonna be ps5 standards VR has just started but you bet there will be an internet hipster trying to make this Are you saying that I'm uh, an internet hipster? Like you gotta think like at least 2016 that's, that's seven years ago, bud A game like into the Raiders is called ghost war. It's like a scare from chalk over VR. Wow wonder who made a video like that crazy 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 that was crazy ones bro just play vtol vr it's literally the best vr game around i mean it's good don't get me wrong but like best vr game best best vr game best period okay again again what the vertigo too i promise i promise i'm making something vertigo let's just do a quick little two we're just gonna play vertigo too play vertigo too guys please Please look, even Chris quits reality. 